All right, welcome guys. Today's video brought us outside of Ayutthaya. I uh, saw a picture of this and I decided to come out here and take a look at it. We're at Wat Pra Nam or something like that. The NG sound, I can't really make it. But uh, anyway, this has got one of the most famous uh, little picture spots that you can see right behind me where these trees have grown up around the, uh, the wall and the gate which is pretty cool looking. So we're gonna make a short little video of this. It's just uh, something I wanted to see. So uh, let me show you around. So as you can see, the trees have grown right up around it. Really, really cool looking. And then you can see the uh, chetty right behind. So there's not a whole lot left of this temple. It's been restored a couple times. You can see the perimeter wall. And they don't really know when it was built, maybe around like the 1550s or so. And it's been restored a couple times and there's been some money donated by the uh, Thai royal family. So the royals have donated money to help restore this. And it's kind of a out of the way temple. People don't normally come over here. It's, uh, I don't know, it's uh, about 20 minutes because you got to kind of wind around to get to this temple. It's about 20 minutes outside of Ayutthaya and it's on the bank of the river. And this area actually gets flooded quite often. So when the river is really high, this whole area will be flooded. And you can see kind of the, the white markings on the wall over there from where it's been flooded. Okay, so right here's the ruins of the ordination hall and it's uh, 15 meters by 34 meters and uh, what's left of it is just some ruins but this uh, this building had been restored a couple times and now all that's left is the base of the pillars and then you can see where the uh, Buddha image is right there so you would have been able to come up in here and enter over this uh, little threshold and then you would have been able to uh, pray and make merit right here in the central center little courtyard right in front of the buddha image and then you have a nice jetty right over there and you can see the bell shape at the top so it would have been in the sri lankan style and you can see there's a few uh, trees and stuff growing up there but this is really nice it's uh it's out of the way it's really quiet you go through uh, just some residential areas and you go past some other uh, ruins and stuff like that. So when you're coming over here, it's just kind of cool to go and look around. You never know what you're going to see in this area. There's just so many ruins and uh, all of that just everywhere you look. There's another ruined temple or uh, something like that. There used to be uh, roughly a million people that lived in Ayutthaya and like 200,000 that lived on the island itself. So another look at the chetty right there. So this place was just packed with people. And you know, the houses all were made out of wood. So, you know, termites and nature would have uh, taken care of those. But these temples were all made out of brick. So they're all that you pretty much see anymore. And here on the, on this little uh, brick pedestal is the, one of the boundary stones. And there's another one over here. So those would have been marking the, uh, the abbot's influence around the ordination hall. But what it says here about this uh, principal jetty is you can see the base is like an octagon. And uh, they said that that style was popular in Ayutthaya before the first Burmese invasion in 1569. So the first Burmese invasion came then and they, uh, you know, they looted the place and they, they left and then uh, they came back and uh, the second invasion in the what, 1767 and that's when they occupied and they basically burned down and destroyed this whole city and then right behind the temples you can see it's uh, pretty much a marshland there's even a boat sitting right over here underneath that tree and then you can see on the horizon is that uh, brilliant white jetty i'll have to go over there and see it i've never uh, been over there to that one but like i said this uh this floods so uh it's not accessible you know during uh heavy uh, rain years i think uh what about uh, the last major flood in this area was in uh, like 2000 and what was it 2014 or so and we came up here right after the flood and went to the other parts of Ayutthaya and it was this was under 
you know, about three meters of water. There was so much water in this whole area. You can see over here, they have the base of the jetties and then the perimeter wall that was around this temple. And then you can see there's a Thai style house over there. And uh, then you have this little pond here with all these lotuses. Really pretty, I like that, that's really nice. And you can see they have a boat over here so they can go and uh, go out to the main channel. All right, one more look here. You can see uh, all these jetties and this tree here is taking root in the, uh, the foundation of that one. And this would have been nice. It's uh, an older style than uh, what some of the other temples are in Ayutthaya itself. And it's outside of the main part of Ayutthaya, but it's still part of the historical area. And one more look at the entrance gate. Just amazing how nature is with those roots just going all around the brick. I mean, life has a way, it always finds a purchase. Right next to the temple, and it's closed today, is a school, that's the uh, Master Artisans. So they make these sculptures like this. And there's no, nothing I can see today, but they, uh, they have some nice work that's out front. And then there's a sign here that says, The Gate of Time. So I never, I didn't see anything at Pratu Karn, we ra but i never heard it called that but there's a couple names that are associated to this town. all right guys so that finishes up our quick little video of what brock nam really cool i just uh, wanted to come over and see this archway with the uh with the trees growing on it and then the principal chetty and just kind of look at the area so it was a short little video there was not a whole lot here it's uh, not really worth your time unless you're already on the island and you have some time to kill it's just a short little motorcycle ride over for me but if you're here and you ride around the historical park on a bicycle, this is too far to come out. So it is a place that you don't see too many tourists. So uh, something you don't normally get to see. So I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed it, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and share it with your friends. And uh, if you want to know something more, leave me a little comment down below. And if you want me to see something else, tell me also down in a comment below. So remember guys, as always, life is a journey. So enjoy. Oh.